<laughs> Super progressive. What is good? How are you guys doing? So I don't know if you know this about me, but what I do for work outside of Super Progressive is I work for Danny Tanaglia. Represent. Best boss of all time. I work for Danny Tanaglia and I work for his manager, Guy. And I've... It's just the coolest feeling ever because whenever somebody asks me what I do, I've never had, I've never been so proud of what I do when I can say, oh, I work for Danny Tanaglia. Like I help him with his social media, help him with all kinds of stuff, right? And so Guy, Danny's manager, sends me this track today that I've never heard. So bad that there's so many tracks by Danny. I work for him and I haven't heard, but <laughs> I haven't heard this one. And he's like, bro, you got to check this one out. So today's reaction is Blondie. Nothing is real but the girl. Danny Tanaglia, Heart of Trance Mix, right? And what I'm so excited for this track, which I've never heard before, and I see the words Heart of Trance, is you never know what you're going to get with DT, you know? It could be tribal, could be house, could be deep house, could be progressive, could be classics. Today we're getting some trance, it seems like, and I could not be more excited. Let's just get into the track right now. We'll do some research after, but let's just get into it. the track right now. Reaction coming up. Let's go. Super progressive reaction. Blondie's Nothing Is Real But The Girl, but it's Danny Tanaglia's Heart of Trance Mix. Let's go! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh my god, it's too epic. Let's go! This is gonna be sick! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! this oh my god I'm so stoked I'm like, Danny playing this in vinyl? Are you kidding me?
All right. One thing I one thing I love is how there's this beautiful euphoric melody, but like there's still that signature DT kick drum that is just pounding and dark and dirty. Like this is such a sick balance. This is sick. him to play this in the next time I see him like oh my god
God. But me. a track I didn't even know like I know DT can do anything but I didn't know he was like he had like trancy for bangers like this to be honest like I just didn't know why doesn't he tell me this stuff <laughs> Oh my god. 
Well, that was amazing. I need to do some research right now. Let's get Discogs up. I'm really dying. All right, sick. So it came out in 1999. There's three mixes that I'm obviously going to listen to all of them. Dude, so cool. <laughs> well, that's a reaction. I mean, my mind's blown. I'm going to be listening to this all day. It's like one of those tracks that just makes you feel amazing and that anything is possible. So on that note, I'm going to get my day started. I'm going to try and cook up some fire for DT on the socials. <laughs> No, no. It's just crazy, though. What's crazy for me is, like, for example, yesterday, you know, working with DT, it's like, okay, yesterday I'm posting a clip about his recent track, The Brooklyn Gypsy. Like, so housey, such a classic, such a great reinterpretation of, you know, the Crystal Waters track. And it's like, oh, my God, he also has just, like, that's just, like, Danny does it all. He does it all. And I'm so proud to work for him. I mean, I have no words. It's it's so sick, and he's literally my favorite DJ ever. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's a reaction. Like, go out, check out this track. So freaking good if you haven't heard it. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.